So there were some people who wondered how um, I made this grass, so let's get all pretentious and uh, shed some light on the matter. Uh, the grass is um, created out of two base things. The first one is the surface, the tiling surface. It's not pretty, but it works. Um, and the second one is obviously the grass. The grass layer has a simple gradient overlay, which looks something like this. And then I used a grass um, brush. So let's duplicate this layer and show you what I mean. Clear this layer, Ctrl A and delete. So this is basically how I created the grass. Um, then with that grass layer, I uh, made a duplicate. Uh, this duplicate. I gave a color overlay, a white color overlay, because of course the next thing we want to do is give it an alpha channel. I like working with TGA, so you have to put the uh, alpha channel in here in Photoshop. Um, with this, I hit Ctrl A to select everything, Ctrl C to copy everything. You go into the alpha channel layer, like so. First, we clear this out so that it's black. Um, then we hit Ctrl Shift V to paste in place, and there we have our alpha texture. Then we go back, um, and then the next thing I like to do is um, give it the uh, give it a background color similar to the texture that you're using. This is to prevent uh, sort of color bleeding in Unity if it um, automatically starts mip mapping, and that means uh, using low resolutions at distances to uh, for performance. Um, then you may have like color bleeding. So if you have a white background like this then um, you can have color bleeding effects um, that, that look really really funky and you don't want that. So the first thing you want to do is use a background that is uh, that has a similar color and secondly um, I like using the same image but then blurred out like two or three pixels so that it will source, if it starts bleeding it will source from the same type of color. Um, so now that we have gone over the base tiling texture like this and the grass texture, we go into Unity, and then we start tweaking here, because we're not there yet. Um, I like using the Unity Terrain Editor. Um, so what you do is you add a grass texture, you look up the texture that you made, um, there we go. And the first thing you notice is when you uh, brush this in, oh wait, add it first, select it first thing you'll notice is that the color is horribly saturated. So the first thing I did was take down the saturation altogether and the dry color as well. And then make sure that the color values are not completely white but close to white. The, the whiter they get, the closer it is to uh, what you had in Photoshop. So um, now I still think the grass is a bit too tall compared to the, the buildings I have on the side so I think I used the values of 0 0.8, 1, 0.8 and 1 you can just use whatever you want here uh, whatever feels right for your scene um, and then we aren't there yet it starts looking great but if we want to have the nice wind effect that you can see here uh, there's one more thing to tweak. Let's bring the camera back down slightly so you can see it. I'll zoom in slightly as well. It already starts looking nicely, but that is due to some tweaking in the terrain settings. Um, by default, the terrain settings will be completely white, and um, the, the, the wind settings in the terrain. Uh, give a nice result, a nice effect, but it's way too bright, way too saturated. Um, so what you do is you go to the grass tint and you turn this way down to like a gray scale, just a medium gray. Um, this way it can still sway in the wind without turning horribly uh, bright. Uh, so that pretty much concludes the grass tutorial. If you have any more questions just feel free to ask. Um, and uh, good luck to all you other artists with grass. And I don't mean the Dutch type of crass, obviously. Bye.